Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning, and it's time for prayer and devotion. Once again, thank you for joining me for this pre-recorded devotion today as I am traveling on my way to Branson, and we appreciate your prayers for our traveling mercies today. Uh, we're not going there for pleasure altogether, uh, but to uh, for, uh, spend time with other ministers at our fall retreat and with their families and um of course, as I told you yesterday, uh, I'm leading the music team for this event, so I have to go um, over a day early, not only for that, but we have North American Missions Committee meeting today at 1 o'clock there, and so just a busy schedule uh, throughout the rest of this week. Be praying for our North American Missions team as we're making weighty, de uh, weighty decisions um, regarding uh, the benefits for our um North American missionaries here in Missouri, and we're hoping to be able to do some great things uh, for them uh, coming up shortly. So uh, pray for us to make wise decisions and uh, for those that are applying to uh, start new works. Uh, we want to see the work of God increase here in the state of Missouri, continue uh, to increase, I should say. Uh, so thank you for your prayers today. I'm going to be reading to you from Psalm 102, uh, Psalm 102 this morning. And while you're uh, looking that up on your Bible app or in your Bible, um, I also want to mention that if you have a prayer need today, go ahead and post that on the feed so that the other prayer team members can see that. And then we'll pray a general prayer uh, together uh, today for all of the needs. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come unto thee. Hide not thy face from me in the day when I am in trouble. Incline thy ear unto me in the day when I call, answer me speedily, for my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burned as in hearth. My heart is smitten and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. By reason of the voice of my groaning, my bones cleave to my skin. I am like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl of the desert. I watch and am as a sparrow alone upon the housetop. Mine enemies reproach me all the day, and they that are mad against me are sworn against me, for I have eaten ashes like bread and mingled my drink with weeping because of thine indignation and thy wrath, for thou hast lifted me up and cast me down. My days are like a shadow that declineth, and I am withered like grass. But thou, O Lord, shalt endure forever, and thy remembrance unto all generations. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. For thy servants take pleasure in her stones and favor the dust thereof. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth thy glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. He will regard the prayer of the destitute and not despise their prayer. This shall be written for the generation to come and the people which shall be created shall praise the Lord, for he hath looked down from the height of his sanctuary. From heaven did the Lord behold the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to loose those that are appointed to death, to declare the name of the Lord in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When the people are gathered together in the kingdoms to serve the Lord, he weakened my strength in the way, he shortened my days. I said, O oh my God, take me not away. In the midst of my days, thy years are throughout all generations. Of old thou hast laid down the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of thy hands. They shall perish, but thou shalt endure. Yea, all of them shall wax old like a garment. As a vesture shalt thou change them, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall have no end. The children of thy servants shall continue, and their seed shall be established before thee. Uh, this particular psalm, uh, we don't have to guess at the point or the motive. It tells us right above it, there's a, a uh, inscription above the psalm that simply says, a prayer of the afflicted when he is overwhelmed and poureth out his complaint before the Lord. So we don't have to spend time to figure out what the theme of this psalm is. It is the lament of an afflicted person who has grown weak and pours out their lament to the Lord. You know, the psalms are not just little poems 
or, or, or simply literary works of art, they are powerful tools to be used to get through life. The Psalms are not just songs to sing, but as you receive their words, you are moved to a stronger place. You are moved to line up with your true purpose. We will all face hard times, as this psalm points out. We will all face trouble and challenges and pain. We will all grow weak. And this song is a tool to be taken out of the toolbox when we are afflicted and when we are weak. We can learn during our time of lament. Verse 12, if you uh, read the beginning of the chapter, you just see the complaint laid out in many ways. All the different aspects of life that the psalmist is enduring this pain and this turmoil in. But then in verse 12, after we see these different pictures of pain, he says, but you, Lord, you see, this is the turning point in the psalm. This is the point where we take our eyes off our pain for a moment. We have laid it out to God in every way that we know. And now we choose to leave it with him. And we simply begin to declare truth about who our God is and what he does. And we see great things declared about him that help us through our situation. In verse 12, but thou, O Lord, shalt endure forever. Uh, verse 13, thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. Verse 17, he will regard the prayer of the destitute and not despise their prayer. Um, verse 19, the Lord looked down from the height of the sanctuary. He beheld the earth. Verse 20 says, to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to loose those that are appointed to death. Don't ever uh, give in to the lie that's being told to you by the enemy that tells you that God doesn't care about what you're going through. God is looking down right now with purpose. And when he hears the groaning of the prisoner, he is going to move to loose you. And today I feel like the people that are going through affliction right now, if you would just get your face lifted up to Jesus this morning, if you would just trust him in this moment, Amen. God has carried me through unbelievable things, unbelievable things. And in fact, at the time, that was the only word I could use to describe it. Unbelievable that this is happening. But God carried me through it. And I know that if God carried me through my problems, uh, he's going to carry you through whatever you're dealing with today. Amen. So this is the prayer of the afflicted today. But remember, in that prayer, there's a turning point where we begin to say, but you, Lord. A popular phrase right now on T-shirts, on mugs, on any kind of thing you would uh, buy with religious thing, but God, but God. Don't forget that today. God is with you. If it had not been for him on our side, we would have been completely destroyed. But God is with us today, and he's going to carry you through the waters of affliction, and he is going to deliver you. Lord, I thank you for this prayer team, and I thank you, Lord, because... I know today there's someone that in particular needed to receive this word. And right now in the name of Jesus, they are receiving it into their spirit and it's going to make a difference. I thank you for giving us this word today for this moment, for this time, for somebody that's in need today. And I pray you would help them to receive it, God. We give you the glory. We give you all praise for what you're doing in our lives. You are our song. You are our deliverer. You are the only one in whom we can fully trust today and never be ashamed. So we just glorify your name. We thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to come to your throne, to have this access to you. Hallelujah. You, you're so merciful, God. Praise your name. Now today I pray, God, that you would just take all the needs, Lord, that our team is submitting right now. And those names that have been on our list for weeks and months as well. God, that you would just move in those situations according to your divine will. Where healing is needed, we pray, God, for physical healing to happen today. Where miracles are needed, God, today, we know you are the miracle worker. Hallelujah. You see those that are afflicted by incurable diseases, but you are the cure of the incurable. There is nothing, Lord, that 
you are not able to do. And so we praise you for it right now. Hallelujah. Move in family situations. Move in the spiritual needs, the mental and the emotional needs as well as the physical today. Grant direction to your people, God. Bless our midweek services tonight. Bless this conference, Lord, that we're going to today. Hallelujah. The North American Missions Meeting this afternoon, God, we pray your will would be done. Hallelujah. And all the decisions that we're making together today. Hallelujah. Let your anointing be upon the worship, Lord, here at home and at the conference. We give you praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we pray these things. Amen. Amen. Thank you for praying with me today. I'll see you tomorrow here at 7.30 a.m. Again, recorded devotion due to my schedule. Uh, but the Word of God will certainly be powerful in our lives if we'll take that uh, 15 or 20 minutes to take part in devotion uh, tomorrow and Friday as well. God bless you in Jesus' name. I'll see you tomorrow morning.